Leader Dogs for the Blind provides trained guide dogs for blind and visually impaired people from around the world. We also provide orientation and mobility training, as well as a kids camp uh, that teaches blind and visually impaired kids about leadership. We're all about empowering people who are blind and visually impaired to be independent, to travel, to add that sense of confidence that allows them to get out and go, go where they want, when they want, and how they want. We have a breeding program, and that's what creates our puppies, and those puppies are whelped within the, the breeding stock's home. Those puppies are then brought to leader dogs, and we put those puppies out, whether it's into prison programs, or they go to families, and those families raise those puppies. The dogs come back to us at a year to 14 months old. They enter our training program, and they spend about 16 to 18 weeks with an instructor learning how to be guide dogs. We give them to a client who comes to our campus here in Rochester Hills, and we train them how to make use of the dog. We're training them in straight line travel, stopping at curbs, avoiding obstacles, being aware of traffic, if it's not safe to proceed or to go uh, in a particular direction, the dog will refuse to go. And we're all about teaching the dog and training the dog in a, a variety of environments so that regardless of where they go out there in the world, they're going to be prepared to travel within that environment. Oakland County has always been a great supporter of what we do here. Oakland County offers us a variety of diverse environments to train in. I can't think of any place that's more perfect for what we do with diverse environments because we can go from a country road with very little traffic to downtown Rochester, Royal Oak, Birmingham, extremely busy environments to travel in. The reason we exist is because it changes the way people think about their travel. It creates this mindset that says I can go out be independent and I can do anything I want to do. We are truly a gem in Oakland County, and we do not exist without donors. And we're here to provide a service that some people may not be able to get anywhere else. And it's those donor dollars that allows us to change those people's lives. The future of this organization is to keep doing what we're doing, and to uh, hopefully be able to handle the growth that's predicted in this population that's blind or visually impaired. We want to do a better job servicing our older adult population because that's what we're going to see more of. And I think we have a great future in providing orientation and mobility training. There's a huge need for that uh, within this country and we're uniquely positioned to be able to offer that training. <laughs>